10 Reasons Why You Should Not Lend Money to Friends and Family When a friend or family member is short on cash and you have money, chances are they will come to you for a loan. It is easy to believe that you can trust someone you care about to repay the loan. Unfortunately, in many cases, things won't work out as well as you had hoped. Below are 10 reasons why you should never lend money to friends or family members. Before we get to any of that, please make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we post a new video, since that's by far the best way to support the channel. Now that that is out of the way, let's roll the tape. Number 1. Most of these loans are open-ended loans. When you lend money to a friend or family member, it is often casual and open-ended. There is often no repayment timeline and no interest will be paid. Without a timeline, you won't know when the borrower plans to pay you back, which can be stressful. Also, the borrower won't know when you expect to be repaid. Being in financial limbo can put a serious strain on the relationship. Pro tip, if your friend or family member is desperate and you have to lend them the money, make sure you create a repayment timeline for the loan. The guidelines should clearly state how much they will pay you every month and the exact date the loan will be repaid. This will prevent the stress of uncertainty over the loan. Number two, they will think repayments isn't a priority. If your friend or a family member has an open-ended loan, they might not make paying you back a priority. They might figure that since you had the money to lend them, that you don't need it back right away. Also, when you lend money to a friend or family member, there are no consequences for not making payments, such as late fees and a negative impact on their credit score. If there is no urgency to repay the loan on time, it will be last on the borrower's list of priorities. Pro tip, if you lend a friend or family member money, Make sure that they understand that you aren't made of money and you need the money back. To prevent any misunderstandings, you should set a deadline for repayment before giving them the money. Number three, it isn't always easy to ask for the money back. It isn't always easy to ask a friend or family member to repay their loan. You care about the borrower and the last thing you want is for them to feel awkward. You are going to be worrying about the repayment, causing you stress. To avoid talking about the loan, communication between you and the borrower will shut down, causing a rift in the relationship. Over time, you will both end up with hurt feelings. Pro tip, if you have already lent money to a friend or family member and are worried about asking to be repaid, it is best to bring up the issue in a friendly conversation. For example, let your friend know that you won't be available to pick up the money they owe you on a certain day, but you can come by the day after. This will prevent you from asking them for the money directly and it will feel less threatening. Number four, lending money can make family gatherings awkward. Borrowing or lending money can make family gatherings awkward. Nobody will want to talk about the loan. Also, the borrower won't want to mention certain aspects of their life if it has to do with spending money because they will be worried about what people will think. They will also worry that everyone is wondering why they haven't repaid the loan yet. Pro tip, neither of you should act like the loan is your dirty little secret. Neither of you should feel guilty about the loan. The best way to avoid any awkward feelings is to keep the conversation light and avoid conversations about money. Number five, the borrower becomes your servant. In the Bible, the book of Proverbs says that the borrower becomes the servant to the lender. If you notice that the borrower is going out of their way to please you, it can make things uncomfortable. Pro tip, if you find the borrower is acting as your servant, you should do whatever possible to make them feel more comfortable. Let them know that they only owe you money and nothing else. This might help them treat you the way they always did. Number six, they might ask for more. If a friend or family member borrowed money once, chances are they will ask you again when they find themselves in a financial bind. Also, if your other friends or family members find out that you lent someone money, they might start asking as well. Pro tip, try not to be the bank in your family or circle of friends. You shouldn't always have loans out to family and friends so it is important that you know how to say no. Number seven, your loan will enable the borrower. If you have a friend or family member who frequently relies on you to get them out of financial jams, you are enabling them. If they know they will always have someone to bail them out, they won't learn to manage money on their own. This will only harm their financial future. Pro tip, if your friend or family member continues asking them for loans, do your best to teach them about money management. Help them sign up for personal capital, which will help them create a budget and stick to it. When they can manage their own money, they won't need to keep borrowing from you. Number eight, these loans don't earn interest. Interest often isn't added to a loan to a friend or family member. 
This is good for them, but it isn't great for you. The money you let them borrow could be earning interest if it was still in the bank, and you will lose money in the long run. Knowing that you are losing money can cause animosity between you and the borrower. Pro tip. When setting the loan guidelines, add interest to the loan. It doesn't have to be a lot and should be far less than a credit card company or a professional lender will charge. You can also invest the money you lent out or use peer-to-peer -peer lending networks such as Prosper or Lending Club. Number 9. You might need the money. If you lose your job or receive an unexpected bill, you will need your money repaid immediately. If you don't get your money back right away, you could end up struggling to put food on the table and you might need a loan yourself. Pro tip, don't lend more money than you can afford. Make sure that you still have enough money in your rainy day fund to get you by if something happens. If you are worried that you will get laid off, don't let anyone borrow money. If you have already lent the money and you are in a dire financial situation, explain the situation and let them know you need the money back. Number 10. You could lose your money and the relationship. Lending money can be risky. If the borrower doesn't pay you back, it will put a major strain on the relationship. It can be difficult to avoid negative feelings toward the borrower, which can destroy the relationship. Pro tip. Before lending any money, let the borrower know about horror stories you have heard about people lending money to friends and family members. Let them know that you don't want this to happen to your relationship and ask them how they think it will be prevented. Final thoughts. It can be hard to say no to a friend or family member when they ask for a loan because you love them. For the sake of your relationship and your sanity, it is best to gently refuse to loan any money. It is better to help them figure out their own way out of their financial mess than to enable them. If your friend or family member desperately needs the money to avoid losing their home or going hungry, make sure you set out specific loan guidelines and remind the borrower that you aren't made of money. Make sure they understand that you need the money returned to avoid being in a financial bind of your own. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and hit the notification icon to be notified every time we post a new video. That's by far the best way to support the channel. See you in the next one!